They call him Jesus. He came to love. Let's grab our basic instructions before leaving Earth and let's see what the Creator, Father God, has in store for us today. Alright, man, how dark. I hate it. This time I got you propped up for my arm got in the way. <laughs> okay. We're on Ezekiel 3. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest. Eat this roll and go speak it to the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat the roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And he said unto me, Son of man, Go get thee unto the house of Israel, and speak my words unto them. For thou art not sent to the people of a strange speech and a hard language, but to the house of Israel. Um, something here is they has there's another verse in here of him of somebody eating a roll and in his mouth it was sweet but in his belly it was sour I remember reading that alright but thou art not sent to the people of a strange speech and of a hard language but to the house of Israel no not too many people of a strange speech and of a hard language these words thou canst not understand surely I have sent thee to them they would have hearkened unto thee but the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee for they will not hearken unto me for on the house of Israel are imputed and hard hearted behold I have made thy faith strong against their face, and thy forehead strong against their forehead. As an amen, adamant uh, harder than flint have I made thy forehead. Fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks, though they be rebellious house. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, all my words that I shall speak unto thee, receive in thy heart, and hear with thy ears. And go, get thee to them of the captivity, and to the children of thy people, and speak unto them, and tell them, Thus saith the Lord God, whether they will hear, or whether they will forbear. If you pay attention, they're always rebelling against God. And... I would say each one of us, we rebel against God. I mean, let's just be truthful about this. There's things that you do you should not do. There's things that I do that I should not do. And all. So we, it must be just in our natures to keep rebelling. You know? Alright, 12. Then the Spirit took me up, and I heard behind me a voice of great rushing, saying, Blessed be the glory of the Lord from this place. And, uh, see, I heard also the noise of the wings of the living creature that touched one another, and the noise of the wheels over against them, and the noise of the great rushing. So the Spirit lifted me up and took me away, and I went in bitterness, and the heat of my spirit, but the hand of the Lord was strong upon me. Then I came to them of the captivity of Tel Aviv that dwelt by the river of Kedor of Sibor, and sat there, they sat and reminded their astonishment among them seven days. And it came to pass at the end of the seven days that the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the words of my mouth, and give them warning from me. 
Then I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speaketh to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, and the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at thy hand. Now I hope you pay attention. <coughs> Yet if thou warn a wicked man, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked ways, he will die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. Now if you tell a wicked man, hey look, you you are most indefinitely should not be doing this witchcraft. Now if you do this witchcraft, God is going to punish you. Alright? But, if you do not tell him, then you are going to have your blood, his blood upon you. Alright, again. When a righteous man do a turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die, because thou hast not given him warning. He shall die in his sin. And his righteousness, which he had done, shall not be remembered, but his blood will I require thy hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn a righteous man, that the righteous sin not, and he doeth not sin, he shall surely live, because he is warm. Also, thou hast delivered thy soul. Okay, I'm going to stop right here. And I'm going to say this. With love with love get away from your pagan ways of Christmas Easter if you can think of a holiday get it out of your life you are not serving the true creator God and I I really want to see each and every one of you in heaven but now if this holds you back from going to heaven and I'll I don't want it to be holding you back. I want you to be in heaven. Okay? Now, you can do what you want. That's totally up to you. And the the love that's in me cares. But the person, the sin in me, don't care at all. I'm just telling you the truth. Alright. 22. And the hand of the Lord was there upon me. And he said unto me, Arise, go forth into the plain, and I will there talk with thee. When I arose and went forth into the plain, and behold, the glory of the Lord stood there, as the glory which I saw by the river of Cherbar, I fell on my face. Then the Spirit entered into me, and set me upon my feet, and spoke with me, and said unto me, Go shut thyself within the house. But thou, son of man, behold, they shall put bonds upon thee, and they shall blind, bind thee with them, and thou shalt not go out among them. And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be done, and shalt not be to them a reproof, for they or a rebellious house. But when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, He that heareth, let him hear, and he that forbears, let him forbear, for they are a rebellious house. Now you are the house, okay? So, think about it. When Jesus went to the cross, and he died, and you accepted him, you became a home for him. All right. Number four. Uh oh, got paper falling out. Thou also, son of man, take thee a tile and lay it between thee, and portray upon it the city, even Jerusalem, and lay a siege against it, and build a fort against it, and cast a mount against it. Set up the camp also against it, and set up battering rams against it around about. Moreover, take thou unto thee an iron pan, and set it for a wall of iron between thee and the city, 
and set thy face against it. It shall be besieged, and thou shalt lay siege against it. This shall be a sign to the house of Israel. <clears throat> lie thou also upon thine left side, and lay the iniquity of the house of Israel upon it, according to the number of days that thou shalt lie up upon it, thou shalt bear thy iniquities. For I have laid upon thee the years of their iniquity, according to the number of the days, three hundred and ninety days. Wow. So shalt thou bear the iniquity of the house of Israel. And when thou hast accomplished them, lie again on thy right side, and thou shalt bear the iniquity of the house of Judah forty days. I have appointed thee each day for a year. So every day that he lays on his side is a year. One day equals a year. That's like, uh, the, he says, a thousand years with the Lord is as one day. Okay, therefore thou shalt set thy face towards the siege of Jerusalem, and thy arm shall be uncovered, and thou shalt prophesy against it. And behold, I will lay bands upon thee, and thou shalt not turn thee from one side to another, till thou hast ended the days of thy siege. Take thou also unto thee wheat and barley and beans and lentils, and millet, and bitches, and put them in one vessel, and make thee bread thereof, according to the number of days that thou shalt lie upon thy side. Three hundred and ninety days thou shalt eat thereof, and thy meat which thou shalt eat shall be by weight twenty shekels a day from thy... From time to time thou shalt eat it. Thou shalt drink also water by measure, the sixth part of a hen. From time to time shalt thou drink. And thou shalt eat it as barley cake, and thou shalt bake it with dung that cometh out of man in their sight. In other words, he's saying, you're going to cook that in shit. Okay. And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, neither will I drive them. Then said I, O oh Lord God, ho oh my soul hath not been polluted, for from my youth up even until now have I not eaten of that which dieth of itself, or is torn in pieces. Neither come there an abominable flesh into my mouth. In other words, he's saying, Lord, don't make me eat this. I've never had it before. I, I've never eat it because you don't want me to eat it. And uh, so let's see what let's see what he does. <clears throat> All right. Then he said unto me, Lo, I have given thee cow dung for man's dung, and thou shalt prepare thy bread therein. So he changed it from people poop to cow poop. Now, I know back in the olden days, they used to use the cow poop to start fires, and they cooked with it. All right. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the shaft of bread of Jerusalem in Jerusalem, and they shall eat bread by weight and with care. And they shall drink water by measure, and with astonishment, that they might want bread and water, and be astonished one with another, and to consume away for their iniquity. Okay, so what he's saying right here at the end is they're going to they're going to have to measure all that they do, because they're not going to have too much flour, they don't have too much water, they don't have too much lard or anything to make bread with. Alrighty, I really do appreciate y'all watching, and we will get to number five tomorrow. I love you guys. Hugs and kisses. How to donate to PayPal. You mash on poor man's sewing, 
and then you come up here and you look for a bout you mash on a bout and right here you hit on donate to poor man sewing it's people like you that help me out and it is really appreciated and I hope you many blessings in this hard times that we are fixing to go through. A lot of hugs and kisses to you.